Thank you for visiting Chiba Yamakura Floating Solar Power Plant, Japan's largest floating solar power plant. We'll be providing a brief introduction of its background, structure, and features. Let's begin with an overview of Yamakura Dam. Yamakura Dam was built by Chiba Prefecture in 1964 as part of its water supply business. With the aim of supplying industrial water to the Keio Rinkai Complex, located at the waterfront area of Tokyo Bay. The Keio Rinkai Complex consists of Japan's largest and most advanced material and energy plants, dealing with crude oil treatment and ethylene production. With a water capacity that few in Japan can match, Chiba Prefecture's industrial water business produces 1.15 million square meters of water per day. Chiba's Yamakura Dam plays a crucial role in this business. Following the 2011 Great East Japan earthquake, Chiba Prefecture launched the new Energy Promotion and Utilization Project team to maintain diversified energy sources, reduce environmental strain, and revitalize the local economy. As an initiative towards reducing its environmental impact, and improving water quality, the prefecture decided to tender for the installation of a floating mega solar power plant on the water surface of Yamakura Dam. Kyosera TCL Solar LLC won the contract to install the plant and become its operator. We will now be introducing Kyosera TCL Solar LLC. Kyosera TCL Solar LLC was established as a joint venture between Kyosera Corporation and Tokyo Century Corporation and engages in the sales of electricity generated from solar power. Kyosera is involved in the design, installation, operation, and maintenance of solar power generating systems, as well as the production of solar modules. Meanwhile, Tokyo Century Corporation serves as a finance partner for the joint venture. France-based Ciel and Teru also joined as a strategic partner, providing floating solar platforms, cultivating markets, and designing systems. Kyosera TCL Solar LLC has implemented a number of power-generating projects throughout Japan, and the combined capacity of its existing projects has reached 400 megawatts. We will now provide a brief explanation on how electricity is generated with solar power. A solar module generates electricity by being exposed to sunlight. And the electricity in the solar module is sent to a junction box. However, the electricity accumulated in a junction box is direct current and cannot be sent to transmission lines owned by utility companies. To be used in electrical grids, the power first needs to be converted into alternating current via a power conditioner. The voltage must then be changed with a transformer to that designated by the utility company before the power can be sent to a transmission line. This is how solar power is generated from a module and sent to transmission lines. Now, let's take a look at the Chiba Yamakura Floating Solar Power Plant. This is an aerial photo of the Chiba Yamakura floating solar power plant. It communicates the enormous scale of the plant. The solar module's total area is approximately 1.8 hectares, and it has an expected maximum capacity of 13.7 megawatts, making it Japan's largest floating solar power plant. The plant is expected to generate approximately 16.17 million kilowatt hours annually which is equivalent to the annual consumption of 4,970 typical households. Now, let's take a look at how the floating solar power plant was constructed. The solar power plant comprises of solar modules mounted onto solar platforms and installed on the water. The floating solar platforms work like floats and are made of UV-resistant high-density polyethylene that will not affect water quality during the 20-year business period. 
The solar modules are installed on the floating solar platforms. The floating solar platforms are then connected on ground. The assembled platforms are then towed by boat to the installation point. The floating platforms are connected by wires to anchors at the bottom of the dam. The anchors are fixed to the dam by licensed divers who also measure their tension. Approximately 500 anchors are used at Yamakura Dam. We succeeded in shortening the construction timeline. The anchoring was completed in four months and the solar panel installation in seven months. This is how the floating solar power plant was constructed. Floating solar power plants effectively utilize water surface areas without affecting reservoirs, providing a solution to solar power businesses in Japan that face the dilemma of limited land space. A common problem with ground-mounted solar modules is that high temperatures cause them to produce less electricity. Because floating solar power plants are naturally cooled by the surrounding water, they're expected to have a greater energy yield. Now you may be wondering whether the installation of a floating solar power plant will pollute the water. The answer is no. In fact, they have the potential to solve various reservoir issues. For example, because the solar power plant covers the reservoir, it can shield the water from sunlight and prevent excessive algae growth. It also works as a lid, preventing water from evaporating and maintaining a stable water supply. This is advantageous for areas that suffer from water shortages. These are the main features of the Chiba Yamakura floating solar power plant. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask our staff. We hope you'll continue to enjoy your tour of Chiba Yamakura Floating Solar Power Plant. Thank you for your attention.